Good morning. In the interest of uh, the scientific method, we're going to try to keep as uh, close to the time schedule as possible. So if you would take your seats, please. As if anticipating Dr. Michael Blakey's call for genealogists and family historians to remain rooted in the written record, the planners of this, or of this conference, in fact, scheduled the very next session to be a session on using historical records for genealogical research. I'm Bill Pretzer, the senior history curator at the National Museum of African American History and Culture, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this session. This morning, to explore the use of written records for genealogical and family research, we have three distinguished presenters from three of the preeminent research institutions in the United States. And I'll introduce all three of them uh, at this time and then let them take uh, the, uh, the podium, make their presentations, and we'll take a question and answer. And I want to emphasize, question, answer. <laughs> Uh, 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 at the end of each of their presentations. So we'll in fact have three question and answer uh, uh, periods. Our, our first speaker, Ahmed Johnson, is a reference librarian specializing in African American genealogy in the local history and genealogical room of the Library of Congress. Uh, a widely uh, recognized speaker and the creator of an online reference guide to African American genealogy and family history. Uh, Mr. Johnson will begin our discussion of using the written record for family research. Ahmed? 